Dear parents, today in this video we will see using the school app or the Versa map how you can pay the school fees for your children. So I log in as a parent. These are the few manuals, tutorial short tutorials as you get in the Versa map. This is the home screen. Now, you see the three parallel lines on the top right corner, you click on that and you scroll it to get the option for fees, you click on fees, you will find the status of your paid fees and the unpaid fees. If you click on paid, it will show you the fees paid for each respective months. Now, if you see the due screen, it will show you the unpaid status for the school fees for your children now this is a demo account please uh, relate only the process and you will have your own fees configured reflecting on your screen ac according to your school now if you click on the upcoming due for any month and you will see the breakup here for the school fees you will get the option as pay so if you click on pay well this is the account for demonstration purpose so the terms and condition page you will find here is not reflective however in your account it will be reflective and live so you don't have to worry about it so the it is the terms and condition page below you will find the process remains the same the below you will find the option as proceed with pay you now the PayU is a service provider or the gateway provider for online platform for making the uh, making payment for the school fees. Now you will find certain competitive pricing as a transaction charges. So we will see how you can experience and get the best optimum utilization of the transaction charges. Now once you click on proceed to pay, you will find the next page you will find the options to make the payments using different mode of payments. Now there would be two mode of payments which doesn't have any transaction charges apart from the school fees. So you will find the rupee here in case in this case rupees 8 is showing as your school fees right. So for example if you click on you, you have your UPI ID you are willing to use your UPI ID or UPI uh, account to pay the fees for your children school fees for your children now how to enter and how to use that you see there would be an option as UPI mentioned as UPI so if you click on UPI the following page would have the different the names of different service provider uh, UPI provider UPI account providers so if you have the account created in Google pay you can click on Google pay if you have an account with phone pay you can go with phone pay you go you can go with bheem account so any of the upi id or the account you have you are holding with you you can proceed with that and the fees remain unchanged as rupees 8 the school fees remain unchanged right so there are no transaction charges however now this is the catch over here or please look at it very carefully if you enter to pay the fees through wallet if you choose this mode of payment or the interface as wallet that will also give you the option as a wallet account for phone pay or bheem upi or paytm however by selecting if you go with phone pay or bheem upi from here now here you will find there would be the transaction charges added along with the school fees so each payment mode would would have its own respective transaction charges apart from two instruments which is UPI so if you I'll show you one more time it's either UPI from here the as you can see it's UPI please do not enter as in as as wallet account right so if you enter wallet account and then you try to put in your UPI ID 
a UPI account so then it will be treated as a chargeable one apart from the school fees this is one way one instrument you can choose to pay the school fees for your children which doesn't have the transaction charges at the same time you can use the debit card and if the debit card is powered by rupee so nowadays in the recent days you would have cards issued from the banks which is powered by rupee so if it is a rupee powered by rupee debit card you can utilize that to pay the school fees for your children and that would also be considered without any transaction charges or transaction fees so how to utilize that or how to get the utilization how you can proceed with that well for rupee debit card you won't find any separate mode of payment or separate field it is the same field wherein you put in the deb you know card number debit card number for any other debit cards you are using debit or credit card so you see the very first option very first option as cards you click on cards and here you will have the option to put in the card number and at the same time you would have its expiry and the other required fields however if it is not if the card is not powered by UPI and if it is I'm sorry not powered by rupee and if it is powered by uh, if it is not powered by rupee so you can still pay the fees school fees however there would be some transaction charges added in it and that would be reflective over here so eight rupees would be the school fees and along with that it would have its own respective transaction charges set in your account right so the best thing if you put in your rupee debit card number if you can check with your bank if you can have the rupee debit card powered by rupee uh, you can use that and uh, but if you don't if you doesn't have or if you don't if you are not carrying or holding the a debit card powered by rupee it could be any other bank any other debit card that's absolutely fine but there would be certain transaction charges which is very nominal but still there are charges but if you are if your card is powered by rupee and you put in the same uh, put in the number in the same field over here the charges would be webbed off and it would only be rupees 8 so because of the security reasons it is a live uh, you know account so you can try with your own card and it will be treated as same right so these are the two instruments which we are talking in this video about which where you, you can pay the school fees for your children uh, at your convenience without any transaction charges that would be UPI and the other one would be debit card powered by rupee to proceed with for UPI please ensure you are not proceeding with the wallet you are you you would like to proceed by clicking on UPI option which is available here and you enter the phone pay Google pay any of the service provider and there won't be any charges applicable in the account hope this video would help you to pay the fees at your convenience your children's school fees and without any transaction charges however even if there are charges for different mode of payments as we have seen in the in this video they would hardly be nominal or minimal as a convenience charge uh, as per the industry standard and uh, in comparison to different other providers thank you